Well, most people, from the road, you look up and you just see a dark edge of conifers, of Sitka spruce. And that's all that most people see of the forest, is that edge, that dark edge. They, they, most people have not explored into the forest to see what's actually within it. And, and, and for good reason, a lot, of the, a lot of this is so inaccessible. You know, without crawling about on your hand all, on all fours, you can't get far into the forest at the moment, but that will all change soon, hopefully. This village, this area has been in, in decline since the 50s, really. Uh, I think it, the population peaked in about in about the 50s there, and it was three and a half thousand people were living in this peninsula at the time. And uh, 50 years later or so, we're down to just over 700. So quite a quite a rate of decline, really. I mean, just since I've been here, I've been 14 years in the village, and just since I've been here, there's really two hotels that have been lost. There's several shops. I think two or three shops that have been lost. Uh, the sailing schools disappeared, the youth hostel's gone, and, and the number of children in the school is about halved. So that's the amount of decline I've experienced in the 14 years I've been here. But as part of, the, the, of our community consultations, we got a lot of the old people from the village to come along and we, we did a timeline with them. We asked all the older people from here um, the changes that they'd noticed over the last 50 years. We were trying to get a, a timeline of this decline and uh, it was quite dramatic, you know, people remembering back about, you know, when the last secondary school children schooled here, you know, and I think those people are now in their 60s, the last that came out of the school. And and just the, 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 the change is, was dramatic. People remembering all the different shops there used to be in the village and how different it was, you know. The housing scenario here is, uh, is in a desperate situation that local people cannot afford to, to buy houses here. I've been renting a place for the last five years, so there's no place that I would be able to afford in the village, uh, and there hasn't been for a while. Uh, so that's really my situation. I have to rent, so I'm wasting money every month in my eyes, but I'd rather be putting it into an investment of a property. Quite a lot of families have moved out of the village. Um, the parents find it difficult to find enough work or there's a, a long way to travel to get to the particular job they do. Um, so quite a few of my children's friends have moved on and some are still moving on. Maze is going to lose another friend soon, just moving away. Um, so yeah, there is a de definite decline in families. It's a very elderly population and a lot of the jobs seem to be related to looking after them and their houses and the holiday homes in the village. And if you don't have a job related to those things, it is, it is quite difficult finding enough work here to live and to be able to afford to live. A lot of the local people can't afford their own houses. They can only afford to stay in the local uh, council houses or rented accommodation because uh, house prices are so high because of the holiday homes being bought here. It's pushing the prices up. Um, so families do struggle. I like it out here, but I do find it difficult with the, the kids travelling to school every day. So we are still in, sort of in two minds. We don't know where our future lies.